Excellent! Hi everyone and welcome to Paul's Hardware. Today's video is a quick installation tutorial for installing a Threadripper processor, the new CPUs from AMD. The socket that they install into is called TR4 or Threadripper 4. I believe the 4 is to line up with the AM4 socket on their mainstream lineup. And even if you've installed a CPU before, there are a few things you might want to know about this installation process. It's not difficult, but there are some quirks. Before we even get to the socket though, let's start with the CPU in the box, or at least the last part of the box, this little puck. Uh, you're gonna need to pull on this metal piece to pop it off of the end, and then simply grab the two tabs on each opposite side, squeeze a little bit, and you should be able to pop the top off. Inside you'll notice a orange uh, protective plastic piece that's around your Ryzen processor, and that is important, and you do want to keep that, so remove that. Do note that this is an LGA processor, land grid array, so there are no pins on the bottom, there are gold contact pads. You should try not to co make contact with those, but for now, we'll set the CPU aside. Now your retail box should have come with a Torx screwdriver in it, but if it didn't, then uh, a Torx T20 uh, bit is what you will want, and the three screws that you'll be paying attention to are these three right here. Note that they're labeled. One is the top one in the middle by itself, and then we have two on the bottom right and three on the bottom left. Also note they have left instructions for you. Open is three, two, one, and close is one, two, and three. So in that order, we're just going to start unscrewing these, starting with three, and then we'll do two, and then we'll do one. Now when you get screw one unscrewed, you will actually notice that the lid will probably try to pop up by itself because it is somewhat spring-loaded. With the upper bracket raised, you'll see a lower bracket beneath and two little blue tabs towards the top of the socket. Just grab those from the side and lift and the lower bracket will pop out of place. It has catches on either side that hold it there. There's also a clear plastic piece at the center and this is actually in place of where your CPU should be. We're going to remove this by sliding it out of the little bracket and the bracket is called the carrier frame. And note as you're sliding it out that there's little rails on either side and they don't extend up the entire length of the frame. Once you've removed that you can just let the carrier frame pop up all the way and then you'll notice an actual protective socket cover down below that says socket SP3. Go ahead and grip that from either side and pull it up. It should pop out and it will expose the pins that are underneath. Pins are very delicate so be careful from this point on that you don't touch them with anything or drop anything into them. Now in case you're wondering, there is still a little triangle on the corner of the carrier frame as well as on the corner of the socket itself, but it's a little bit easier just to pay attention to the dummy frame that was removed and the orientation that was in as you put the CPU back in the same position. So we're just going to lower the CPU into the frame very carefully, making sure that those rails line up and go inside the little black rails instead of outside. They can get misaligned. Once it's slid all the way down into the frame, we can just lower that carrier frame back onto the socket, press down and it should snap back into place and be held there. Now all that's left to do is lower that top frame and remember that our screw order is reversed now, one, two, three, rather than three, two, one. I'm just gonna do about a single rotation on that top one just to get it threaded. That way, hopefully number two and number three down here will be slightly easier to get threaded as well. And there we have it, the CPU's installed. And guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this tutorial. If you have any friends who are gonna be building a Threadripper system, please feel free to share this video with them. Hit the thumbs up button, of course, if you enjoyed it, and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more tech videos just like this one. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.